Hey guys, I'm Amy, and you've landed on Bella's Bargains. That's my cow, Effingham, and sometimes he co-hosts with me. He's got a lot to say. This channel is Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, and only Dollar Tree. And why? Because everything at the Dollar Tree is a dollar and a quarter, people. So stick around, consider subscribing, and don't forget to give me that big thumbs up. And if you want to know more about the four uploads I do every week, just check out the description box for more information. Enjoy! We chased Lady Luck till we finally struck Bonanza. With a gun and a rope and a hat full of hope, we planted our family tree. We got a hold of a pot full of gold Bonanza. With a horse and a saddle and a rip full of cattle, how rich can a fellow be? On this land, we put our brand. Cartwright is the name. Fortune smiled the day we filed the Ponderosa claim. Here in the West, we're living the best Bonanza. If anyone fights with any one of us, he's got to fight with me. Hoss and Joe and Adam know. Hoss and Joe, Adam know. Every rock and pine. No one works, fight or eats like those boys of mine. Here we stand in the middle of a grand bonanza. With a gun and a rope and a hat full of hope, we planted our family tree. We got a hold of a pot full of gold bonanza. With a household of friends where the rainbow ends, how rich can a fellow be? On this land we put our brand, Cartwright is the name. Fortune filed, smiled the day we filed the Ponderosa claim. Here in the West we're to live in the best bonanza. With the friendliest fight in this live lovingest band that ever set foot on the promised land. And we're happy then, <laughs> them all. And that's why we call it bonanza. That wasn't right. But close enough, you guys get the idea. Oh my gosh. There's multiple lyrics to that song, by the way. That is not the only set of lyrics. That's the lyrics that Lauren Green sang, which, of course, he starred in the show. I loved Bonanza. Did you guys love Bonanza? Like, it was like, like it was just like a great show. Yeah, they mentioned cattle. You are so correct, Effingham. They mentioned cattle. Okay, so, um, okay, yeah, yeah. You're, I do believe it's the only song I've sang that mentioned cattle from a TV theme. All right, guys, welcome to Bell's Markets. My name is Amy, and you've landed on Holla for your dollar haul. Holla for your dollar haul. Really quickly, we're going to jump into this. All right, so I do a giveaway right now. I am giving away the sets of the metal ribbon. And yes, again, I'm going to give away another set today. So listen carefully for the clue on how you enter today's drawing. It'll be somewhere in this video. And in the meantime, at the end of, the, of this video, I will draw the name for who won from last week. And last week, I already did it once on Tuesday, but we're still going to do it a second time today. And um, actually, Tuesday's video came out Wednesday, and today's Saturday, but it's going to come out Sunday. Everything's like a day behind this week for some reason. But last week, you had to say, ah, oh, what was it? Your favorite kind of soap? No, 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 no. Last weekend, you had to say if I had everything in the shoreline or not. You had to mention something about the shoreline. Okay, so easy. That was an easy one. All right, let's get going. I'm going to tell you the story. So today, Marks and I had to go into work, which is why this video is coming out late, because um, they were painting, and we had to go let them in, and we had to go buy some stuff for the store, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so we went shopping, and um, we went into this place, well, long story short, I'm going to rent a booth and sell my crafts because I just have too many of them. Like, if you guys saw the pilots in my living room right now because I was boxing them all up, it's insane. Because I make, like, at least six crafts a week, seven crafts a week. I make at least seven crafts a week. And then if I do a challenge, you throw those in there. So I make a lot of crafts. I have a lot of crafts. And I've donated a ton. But anyway, I don't know. I'm going to try a booth. We'll see how it goes. So, but, so we walked into this store and um because we were I was gonna rent the booth and we walked through it really quickly you guys have to see what we found okay. so those of you that know us besties you guys that have been there forever been here forever you know we had a pirate wedding yeah okay yeah they love you too and so we found this wait what not at the dollar tree i might add but oh my gosh is this the coolest thing so we found it and it needs to be cleaned up so marks is going to clean it all up it's got so much detail you guys look 
like even there's little oh shoot i don't want to break it there's little um can you guys see the cannonballs on the top there's little lights hanging off of this oh it's so cute You'll never guess how much we got it for. $45. It was like, ah, it has to go in our backyard because our whole backyard is pirate themed. Um, and so he's thinking about bolting it to this great big wood table. I should give you guys a tour back there again soon. All right. So um, also, let's see what else I want to tell you back. But don't forget, check down below for everything that I do every week. I do a lot of uploads. And this channel is, the, I know it's almost your line. If you could be patient. Effingham has a pirate hat on these days. I will try and refilm it for you guys. Um, so I know you're one of us. You're a pirate, dude. You do not drink Captain Morgan. You don't drink. So anyway, um, the reason this channel is Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, and only Dollar Tree is because everything at the Dollar Tree is a, a dollar and a, a quarter. That's right, Evingham. Everything is dollar quarter at the Dollar Tree. Okay, so one more thing before I do the haul. You guys, I, I hauled these little cute little, um, they're juices and they're from Russia or something. We all found out. I'm like, I don't know. Anyway, they're really good actually. They're called Nature's Goodness. But look at this bottle. It's like so cute. Cute little red top. So I told Marks I'm gonna I'm gonna get an empty bin and for like a year, maybe less, I'm gonna collect bottles from the Dollar Tree. Things that I only things that I buy and I use and they're in a bottle. And then I'm gonna do a whole bottle video, which I think that'd be kind of fun. Just decorating all the bottles from Dollar Tree. So it'd still be Dollar Tree, but it could be a little bit different kind of video. Okay, let's go. We've got to go. I've got stuff I have to show you. So I'm just going to dive right in. And I have, you got to wait till the end because I found the coolest thing. All right, so let's start with food. These were on clearance and I don't know why, but I guess because the box was dented, they're only 50 cents. We haven't tried these yet. Um, and then you make four pancakes out of one box. So we're taking them up to the property for breakfast when we're camping. And so we haven't tried them, but it is something I should throw into a foodie Friday. The pirate ship's going to be in my way. I should put it where you guys can see it. Ready? Here we go. The backdrop today is pirate ship. Um, anyway, so I, I don't often go through their clearance stuff, but Mark's was with me today. He's like, hey, hey, they've got, and I was like, okay, what do you want? Um, and so we also bought some Lipton sweet and iced tea, which we take that out to the property. David, David pumpkin seeds, and I don't think I've seen these there before. I love, does ever, anybody love pumpkin seeds? I do. So, um, and I have like jar full of peanuts, jar full of pistachios, and I'll throw pumpkin seeds in another little jar up there because just like fun camping food, I guess. I guess this is going to be the camping area over here. And then um, Marcus grabbed their Weiler's Light uh, Tea. So they, you get eight in here instead of six, which is always a better buy. And this is the uh, peach peach iced tea. So grab those. I don't know. There's another one. Uh, and a facial brush for the camper. Because, so normally I would like use a washcloth or, or a facial scrub thing, but I don't have those up there. So the thing about this was that I knew I could hang it so drying would happen because we're not there all the time, right? And a washcloth, then you've got to take it and launder it and all that. That was my thought process. Figure it out and enjoy it or don't. All right. And then last week, I think I hauled the Duncan Hines mermaid one. And then I found the little boy one. And was it, I know it was Sharon, but I think she said they were 319 or something. I didn't look back at my comments. I shouldn't have. So I'm like, yeah. Anyway, we're going to do them on a, on a foodie fun day. But they're, um, it's a cake and a cup. It's a cake cup. Fun thing, like for a birthday party or a slumber party or something like that. Because we use it all the time. And it's hot in Arizona. Today was 112. 112 in Arizona today. Yeah. You were thankful for that air conditioning when you ran in then. Mm. Uh, okay, so I have like, you know, well, it was cooler in here because we leave the air on for you. Yeah. No, you don't need the 112 heat. A flexible stencil, which this is one I don't believe I had found before, so I was super happy to find this one. It's good to be home, wash and dry. I, I'm almost positive I don't have this. If I do, I'll give it away. But I'm pretty sure I don't. And now I'm thinking like if I make stuff to sell, cause that's dumb. Um, and then I found the Believe little words, which I had not found those before. So I was happy about that. I'm pulling stuff out of a bag that I can't show you because it's 
part of the last thing I'm going to show you. Okay. What else? Oh gosh, more, more of the Weilers. He also got the lemonade and we are taking these to the camper. It's a great way because we have, we'll take bottled water and we can make a drink without having to buy bottles to take up there other than the bottled water, which that's fine. We take that up there anyway. And then this was a new wreath form that I have not seen before. And I only grabbed it because, because I found it and it's new and it's a rainbow or is it a smile? I, you decide a rainbow or a smile. If it's a rainbow, it only has three slots, which is confusing because a rainbow has seven, six colors, red, orange, yellow, blue, green, purple, indigo, red, orange, yellow, blue, green, purple, indigo, seven, seven colors in a rainbow. But I did think this would be, if any of you want to do this, this would be really cute to do red, white, and blue. So you could actually wrap it and, um, in red, white, and blue and make a really cute hang stars off of it for a 4th of July decoration. It is pride month. I have nothing to be prideful for. So, but that's the whole rainbow. I think rainbow bright, by the way, is upset about that. I'm just saying it was totally her thing and they stole it. I mean, rainbow bright was the rainbow girl and no longer she, it's been stolen. I mean, think about it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next bag. A lot of this is multiples. So I don't, you know, show you every one of them when I'm doing multiples. This was an item that we picked up for camping um, because we have food, we store food up there. And so we're always watching it, the date. So this is good until November of 24 and it's got a pop top and it's olives. So if I make salad up there or just um, mostly salads or we just wanna eat some olives. So I love it when they have the pop top, it's good until 24. So we did snag a few, you can tell by this, a few cans of olives. A few more cans of olives. That's all. That's all going to the camper. Hoss and Joe. Na, 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 na. I am doing the what would you make challenge um, in, I think it's next week again. And so stay tuned for what I do with these for the what would you make. These are wood. There's that. I think I got the medium size as well. So this was just a small receipt. We went to more than one Dollar Tree today. So that goes in my challenge area. I don't know. I'm, why am I even trying to separate right now? I'm going to come in here and then like have to separate it again. All right. This is a huge, and I mean huge thing of glass cleaner wipes. So again, up in the camper, it's way easier to have something like this that I can pull a wipe out and do the mirrors as opposed to pulling out the spray. And, and then I have a rag. And then when I have a rag, then I have to take the rag and launder it and so on and so forth. So anything like this that's disposable is way easier. So that's also for the camper. Boy, I got a lot of camper stuff. Again. And then um, lemon juice, just because we went through the fridge, cleaned it out, and our lemon juice was bad. And we do marinade with lemon. We do marinade. Um, I think they're um, McCormick marinades. Anyway, and one of them calls for lemon juice, so we keep lemon juice in the fridge. Okay, so now this is a little trick. Right now, gas prices are insane. I mean, insane. Okay, so Evingham, gas is what we put in a car, not what comes up. Hello? You don't get out enough. Um, I, yeah. You're right, because you can't go out. But if you fill up your car with cheap gas, then you can throw this in and you up the octane in your gas tank. You can save a little bit of money. This is a buck 25. So I'm gonna fill up every VW and I put 91 or 92 in it because that's what it calls for. So I can put the lesser expensive stuff in, throw this in and I'm gonna save, oh my gosh, I'm gonna save like 13-ish, six, somewhere, six, seven, eight dollars. And this is a dollar 25. So why not? I'm gonna try that. Marcus says it will work. If Marcus says it will work, I'm gonna assume it will actually work. Okay, and then we were in another Dollar Tree store and we found this, which I don't think we tried it when we did the, the hair stuff before, which was a couple weeks ago. And we already did popcorn, but I'm like, yeah, we still have to try it. Then we also found this, Buffalo Blue Cheese, by the hair's line. So I was like, okay, gotta try those too. And then, 
the Carolina Reaper, which I'm pretty sure we didn't try those either. So we found all these flavors that I didn't try. And we tried so many of the, the um, Harris flavors, so I don't know. But if you watched Foodie Fun Day last, was it Monday or Tuesday, whenever day it was on, we did popcorn tasting, and this was the winner. Soy popcorn. But it's going to the camper, because it's just like a nice little snack to have there. Um, you know, popping popcorns are there's a little bit harder, but yeah, anyway. Okay. There was a lot of food in this haul, which happens. Sometimes the hauls are just, but I was after one specific item and I'm happy to say I did find it. We also did not try the baby back ribs from Harris when we did them last week. More of the sweet chaos, honey, chipotle, honey, honey! Yeah. He didn't say it. No, you didn't have to get up. Oh. I was just saying we bought this, honey. Uh, that took him too long, didn't it? Honey? Chipotle. Chipotle. Okay. Anyway, okay, you can go lay back down now. Marcus is in pain right now. He's got some neck. His neck's bothering him. Okay, I keep grabbing bags from down here. I'm trying to make this one short so I can get it up quickly for you guys. Um, This is brand new, but I'm super excited. It's going into Foodie Fun Day. And this is Mexican Street Flavored Snack Mix. Wait, what? And it's by Elote. I'm not sure how you say that. Elote? See, that would be wrong. That's how we would say it in English. So it's probably Elote. It is probably Elote. Okay, so I'm excited. So that's going in the Foodie Fun Day basket. And I told you I found medium size as well. Okay, I throw those in with the other ones. So I had all three sizes of clothespins I purchased. What would you make? Well, I don't know. We're going to find out. I also grabbed this for what would you make? Silly. But I mean, I think like everybody's done these, but there's some beautiful rub-ons right now. And so I thought it'd be super easy just to do a really pretty little um, kitchen utensil decoration thing with the spoon. And so that was my idea to use some of the rub-ons from, okay, I don't know if I'll do it or not, but, and I've already hauled the galvanized with the wood, but I didn't find this one. So I found the galvanized heart with the wood in the center and the star with the wood in the center, but I found the flower with the wood in the center. Don't know what I'm going to do with it. Yeah, who knows? Do you know they like they screw these on instead of gluing them on, which is kind of cool. Makes them pretty sturdy. So I want you guys to think about something too. They have the larger wood um, flower. So you could three-dimensionalize this. I might do that with the star because I was thinking I could do like red, white, blue, and this could be the white. And I could do a red on the big, I'm doing that. I'm totally doing it. I just said it and now I'm going to do it. So like the big star would be red and then put the galvanized would be the white and then paint the blue star in the middle, the, the blue, the star in the middle blue. Wouldn't that be cute? So it'd be three dimensional because the big, they have the big stars and then the galvanized. Okay. So I have to remember to do that. Where would I, put, I got to put this somewhere while I remember to go pull that out because that's a great idea for a craft. Then this is, I haven't seen this there before. Um, but I was like, yes, it's the boost protein chocolate. I only drink, I know I have them in a bag somewhere. I only drink my breakfast. These are more boosts. So I drink my breakfast and I usually drink the, oh, here it is. I drink the carnation breakfast drinks. No, who is it? Oh, I can't remember. Bestie, which one of you it is it that you drink these too? I love these. Like I take them to work every morning. It's my breakfast. So then I, when I saw the boost, I was like, oh, well, psh, I'll try the chocolate boost that they only had chocolate. So I did a snack, a couple of those, fill my fridge up with them. And they're my, they are my breakfast. I'm trying to lose weight right now. Desperately. I mean, I'm doing okay. I've lost a few pounds that I gained. Is that really losing weight? See, now let's just think about this. So if you were one weight and then you met somebody, honey over there, and then you gained like 25 pounds, don't, we're not talking about your weight. Effingham, stop it. Oh, Effingham says he likes me the way I am. It's very nice, Effingham. Very nice of you. So if you, if you gain 25 pounds and then you lose, I don't know, five pounds or so of that, is that technically losing weight? See, I don't think it is. I don't know. Anyway, 
All right, so today this total was, can you see it there? $133.25. <laughs> but a lot of it is like these, right? I got a bunch of these and the and the um and the carnation breakfast. And then also like the the olives. So it was a lot of food stuff in there, definitely. Okay, I don't have room. I'm gonna have to move this somewhere. How about right there? <laughs> Well, then we walked up and also on their um, clearance thing were these, which I love these, but they're not as a good, they're not as good a buy as the Kraft macaroni. These are smaller packages, but for 50 cents, yeah, I'll do them 50 cents, but it's, they're good until Jan, June 15th of 22. So they've expired. Tell me what's going to go bad in these in the next two weeks or so. Yeah, nothing, nothing. Um, and those we are taking, I think, to the property. Yeah, pretty sure we are. I don't know. I just like, we'll go through it and figure it out. Okay. So I have a couple of items that I'm dying to show you because they're so stinking cool and I'm like super excited about it. Um, one is a household cleaning item and the other one is a household organizing item. But I think there's other stuff in the bag in here as well. So hold on. Before we get to those two items, Brand new, they're wallpaper pieces, which I love these. So I just saw so nautical in this. Don't you see it? Like if you put this on something and put like a seahorse on it or a mermaid, doesn't it kind of scream that for you? Am I the only one? Tell me, and that's how you enter today. <laughs> what do you see when you look at this wallpaper? Tell me what you see. So do you see the nautical? There's like fleur de, fleur de, fleur de, fleur de whatever they are in there. Um, I feel like you could cut stuff out of this that would be really pretty. I feel like I see a face with a mustache right there. I need to do my nails. Don't even look, you guys. Because um, I've been doing so much, redec or not redecorating, but cleaning up and redoing the office at work, and it's just dirty. I gave up on my nails until I finished it. Anyway, I bought three sheets of this because I'll throw it into my stash, and I just think it's a really beautiful, beautiful blue so many endless things you could do, but as a backdrop for something, it'd be super beautiful. And for some reason, I saw nautical. So tell me what you would make with this, or what do you see? Do you see nautical? Do you see farmhouse? Do you see red, white, and blue, like patriotic? Do you just see, what do you see? Tell me what you see with the blue wallpaper. Okay. I thought it was just absolutely gorgeous. And then, and then I found more and i love this one look at how pretty the color is on that one and then this one these look so good on galvanized gosh i don't have a galvanized piece big enough do i oh i might i might i might do this craft today i don't know we'll see so and that was it i got three of the butterflies just because i thought if i did something big with them i would want three but you know you don't have to keep them this size like you could cut off because when you peel this off do you see that it has the silver around it you could remove the silver. You could cut it out. Um, there's just endless things, but so pretty. I have to figure out what my craft is after I'm done with you guys. Okay. I found them. I've never found these. It's the first time ever I found these, and they are the bamboo rings, and I'm so excited. Like, maybe this should be my craft. <laughs> Here I go. Anyway, I've never found them. And so I was just super, super happy to find these. Uh, I'm gonna throw them in my what would you make right now because I might possibly use it for that. I, I don't know for sure, but I was super, super excited to find that. I've never found them. So, you know, I pick up threes, so I picked up three of those. Okay, but this, it's palm olive spray away. This, Sharon, look it up, tell us how much, please. This is you spray away spray vaporizer quickly dissolves stuck on grease it is a dish spray it's a new dish spray so can i turn it on and show you guys how let's see stop spray okay grab a cup right here ready so you go let me look at that oh oops it's like so it's dish soap in a spray bottle do you know how convenient that is for a camper? Because again, you could just, because you're always trying to limit your water usage, right? So just to spray on clean, and then you just need the water for your rinse, which I heat up water on the stove because rather than turning on the, the water heater all the time. 
And so, how convenient. And you, I said, it's not all soapy. You know, you know, this is more than $1.25, wherever it's selling. They have a ton of it. I don't know why. Truckload sale, I don't know. Now there's soap literally all over these bags. Ew, I gotta fix that. Okay, well, they smell clean. And it smells like palm olive. Isn't that funny? Huh. Anyway, you guys, this one is good. I should turn it off, the one that I opened. There we go. Stop. All right, now I'm going to show you what I really went looking for. So today, when we went into town, we went into town and we had to let them in, the painters in, let them in. We had to go to Home Depot and buy, you know, stuff like coving and, and light switches and all that. So <clears throat> we, we got into town early because we were going to go to breakfast. The breakfast place had a line, like, oh my, it was like, never mind. So I was like, we'll just run into this Dollar Tree really quickly. Let me see if they have what I'm looking for. Guess what they had. What I'm looking for, and I, f I didn't find it all, but I certainly found enough. Wait, what? The pegboard system. Okay, so what I didn't find was the ones that were smaller where there's two in a pack. Okay, so let me show you what I did find, and I was so excited. I bought three of everything. No, I think I bought four of the pegs. So... They had black and they had white. So this is so amazing because I bought, I think I bought all the white. They only had four white. And I was like, okay, well, I have to have even numbers at least. So, because if you're going to put them on a wall, right, you need to make a square. Although if you had three, I guess you could just line them up side by side or top to bottom. Anyway, so I found those. And then I bought three of everything else that they had. <laughs> Do you want to see it? So there's these. And these clip onto it. Can you see? They clip onto it. Let's open one up. I'm gonna show you guys. I'm so excited I found this. You guys just don't, you don't even know. Like you just don't even know. Um, because it's, it's just phenomenal stuff. Okay, so you, for some reason I thought they came with adhesives, but they don't. Okay, well it doesn't matter. I'll figure it out. Um, sorry, I'm gonna open this up. So this is the little clip-ons. And they go on there like this. Look at that. And then you could hang like um, a bottle of paint probably could hang in there. Um, you could put something else. I don't know, a bigger bottle of something. Your juice bottle. That does not work. <laughs> I can't find it. Your water bottle doesn't work. Anyway, whatever. You know, there's things that you could hang in there. Just Well, just things on a hook, right? You could hang stuff on there. But then they also have... Let's go. They had these, and there was black, and there was white. And there's six pieces in here. Just gonna get one out. And they go on, I'm gonna fill up this little pegboard. They go on like this. And then you just hang on whatever you wanna hang on there. I'll bet, I think there are adhesive things that you buy. They weren't at this one, so I'll keep looking for those. All right, then, what else did I get? Then they had these. I'm just going to show you it all. So these are like throwing your scissors on there or something. So these are smaller of the loop-in hooks on it. Drop it. I'm going to start dropping pegboard stuff. Okay, so there's this. Hold on. I'm trying. I'm working it, people. Um, dang it. Okay, like that. And then there's these. So these go on and like you can put your scissors in there or you could put, you know, paintbrushes or something. I don't know. There's endless things that you could get, right? Okay, I'm trying to do this without messing it up. So, and then the final thing that I found was I think these, which are the cups. And these, there's black and there's white. And they, these are the best. The cups I think are the best, in my opinion. But I mean, like it's going to be different for everybody. But look, you go on there, bam, ba-bam. Ba-bam. I'm like, oh, praise the Lord. Yes. So I found it. Now, I haven't gotten everything that I want to get for it, and I am literally going to do a whole spot where I do the pegboards. So I, because I can't forever craft in my kitchen. We're working on that now. Um, and so part of that was getting that booth so I could just get the crafts out of there so I could craft and then get rid of them because I have so many. But I was so happy to find this and start my collection of everything that I'll collect so that I can eventually get this up on my, on my craft wall. Somebody tell me, so they, do they sell the adhesive things? Because I feel like, 
I saw somebody with those. Hmm. Anyway, so I'm not sure, but I didn't find them if they have them. But I did find the pegboards. Yes! Boop, boop. I was so happy. I was literally so happy. I know. Yep. You are correct, Ebbingham. All right, guys. I'm going to break away really quickly. I'm going to come back and do a quick craft for you. I don't even know what I'm going to do it with yet because I really didn't buy any crafty things here, huh? I guess the only thing I bought that was crafty was, oh, no, I did. I have, like, the, the paper clips. I mean, the, the clothespin clips. And then my wallpaper. Don't forget, wallpaper. And then um, my little things. So I'll figure out something. I'm going to go figure out something to make for you right now. In the meantime, in the meantime, I'm gonna pause really quickly and let's find out who won the coveted um, ribbons this week, shall we? Hold. Okay, so here we go. Let's see who the winner of the ribbons are. The five metal ribbons. Mm, pick another winner. They didn't say anything. Okay. Oh, Kathy. Actually, Kathy Purpura, but she's like, I don't need the metal ribbons. <laughs> so, that was nice. Okay, let's see. Mm, ah, Teresa Worley. Good Lord. I'm pretty sure you have everything and in multiples, LOL. So, Teresa Worley, you won the metal ribbons. So, make sure you contact me. Give me your address so I can send them off in the mail to you. I'm sending everybody's... For the last few weeks, everything's going in the mail. On Monday, we're packaging it all up and labeling it tomorrow. So make sure you contact me, Teresa. Hopefully, you can get in on that. Run to the mailbox. All right, now stick around. If you want to, I'm going to do a craft. Did I already say? But if you don't want to, have a great day, great week, a great life, everybody. And as always, from your singing crafty crafter, happy hunting at your local Dollar Tree. Stick around if you want to watch the craft. Effingham, do you want to say goodbye if they're leaving? <laughs> Okay, he thinks you should stick around and watch the craft. <laughs> okay, all right. All right, guys, so hold on, craft next. Okay, so I hauled this, and I had one of the flowers, so I'm like, I might as well do what I was telling you guys. So I went and got some really pretty tissue paper. I'm also going to use one of the words, believe, and I got these stickers. I just don't know if I'm going to use them, but I just thought they were looked really good with this tissue paper. And then some ribbons. I'm thinking pink on this one's really screaming. I don't know what you want, Friday. And then um, some of my beads. Because, of course, I have the pink beads in here. But I also have the natural beads in here. So I'm not sure. I was thinking for the hanger or, or maybe for the center of the... So at first, just so you guys know, I was thinking that I would use pink and do the center of the floral with the beads. But then I decided I would use believe, I think. So... It could go either way. <laughs> the first thing I'm gonna do though is Mod Podge my pretty um, tissue paper on this one and this one. So let's get to Mod Podge. Mod Podge. It's such a weird word, right? And what does it mean? <laughs> it means what I'm gonna do right here. All right, so um, I'm just, I just painted basically on top of the wood flower, the Mod Podge. And then, did you guys notice, I flip it over and put my piece down on the tissue paper as opposed to trying to lie your tissue paper over the top of it. I do that whenever, usually, when I do a Mod Podge piece. It helps, first of all, get it flat and you don't um, you don't get as many wrinkles because you're pushing down on it and it's, uh, I'm not explaining it well, but I think you guys understand what I'm saying. All right, so then, <clears throat> I didn't do it on this one, see, because it was super little, so it was easy. So then after I lay it down, I put another layer of Mod Podge. I, let it, I did let it dry, and then I did the burning effect. It's just a time saver. So here's the thing. If you're going to do this, I should have taken the flower off the metal at this point. Uh, I don't know. I wasn't thinking. And then I do take the flower off the metal. Okay, but after you burn, you still have to do a little bit of sanding. First of all, you want to get all that burn off of there. It's going to fall off because it's like ash, right? So I just sanded really quickly around the edges. Um, just to get it a good clean line and then I tried sanding this well I did sand it all the way around using my nail file I got it all sanded down and perfect <laughs> only to then unscrew the flower from the galvanized piece so but it's looking so good there's my glass marker you guys know I love these glass markers the glass paint brush marker so I want to show you those are what I'm giving away for on, on foodie fun days if you watch those that Marcus and I do anyway Okay, so 
I take that off and now I'm gonna do this technique that I did on my camper and truck last um, Thursday Friday whatever day that video came out and it's just sort of um, add some color to the to the galvanized I did it with black and it makes it look distressed so here I'm just doing it with the pink to just give it this little um, it's got color now you see that it's still galvanized but there's some color I thought about outlining the whole thing in the pink and decided against it. I was like, nah, I don't need it to be too much pink. So by the way, when you screw the flower on, you have to make sure you're the right way. There's a, <laughs> I put the one screw in and turn it over and I go, well, I can't, it doesn't match up. So I didn't film all that for you. But all right, so I took that glass marker because we're going to stick with that pink that's obviously the same pink that was used on the galvanized part. And I outline it. Now, you could leave it just the outlining it. I do the whole thing. You know just outlining the word because I kind of liked the natural wood color because we can see it through the tissue paper we're just we're getting that natural color so I outline the whole thing and then I'm like uh I don't know but watch when I put it on there it looks good but then I was like nah I'm coloring it in so I did I went colored it in isn't this cool to watch in fast speed with it <laughs> I was thinking I should do a whole video of coloring like this. Be very relaxing. All right. <clears throat> so then, um, after I do that, I've got to glue the believe on. First, I have to glue the uh, flower onto the big wood flower. So when I do that, you'll notice there's a hole in the galvanized part where it hangs up. And so I point it out when I do it. I put I put that hole on the bottom. Oh, here's the hanger first. So two um, medium, three small beads. I took the original hanger and I strung the beads on it. A big, three small, and then a big, or medium, three small, and then a medium, right? Odd numbers, so five beads. So I get those on there. And then I take both ends and put it through the hole to the back, okay? So now I've got both ends of my string to the back. Then I knot it. I take the two and knot them, right? So I have a knot at the end. Then I loop it over the bead part. So now it's on there. I hope that makes sense. And then I just trimmed the string on that, burned it so it was cleaned up, and there's my hanger. All right, now there, there's the hole in the galvanized, and I'm gonna put it to the bottom left as you're looking at it, right? So not to the top. I'm not gonna use a bow to cover it up. I'm putting it to the bottom left. There's the bleed. It looks so good. It looks so cute. And so I'm really glad I painted the bleed. Then I use my nail file as my as my level. <laughs> use whatever you got, and threw some hot glue. Now I don't know why I put hot glue on the bee and the and it's hanging off the wood flower. The e is too, but that's okay. Doesn't matter. Okay, and this is where we're just gonna finish it off. So I want to cover up that hole. So I take those really pretty floral stickers that look like they were made for this tissue paper. I mean, it's so it's so perfect, and I use five five florals down there and look at that it's done i think it's so cute i hope you guys like it and i hauled the tin with the floral on it and the believe and the big flower and the stickers were in my stash and then this is a new thing i'm doing i hope you guys like this i show you it on my wall somewhere so i put it on my wall so you can see it i don't know okay so that's it hope everybody enjoyed that thanks for watching shopping saturday which came out on sunday <laughs> we'll see you guys back here for Totally Easy Tuesday. Bye, besties.